My name is Marilyn Robinson. I wrote the novel Housekeeping. Um, and recently I've published a collection of essays called When I Was a Child I Read Books. Uh, well, it's been true since I was about 15 probably that my favorite writers are Melville, Dickinson, Thoreau, <laughs> Emerson, you know, the 19th century Americans, and then uh, some later people like William James and Henry James and Wallace Stevens. Um, that, that has been a very important literature for me. They're finding the aesthetic of language as Americans use it, and I think they did a brilliant job of doing that. There are words that come up oftener than I wish they would in my writing. I'm not going to tell you what they are because that will sensitize all readers to the fact that I do have recourse to them probably oftener than I should. Um, I, I was trying to think of words I don't like. I, it's hard to imagine a word that would not serve in some context, you know. Um, Wallace Stevens said that the problem of writing was to find the word that was just wrong. And I think that that's, um, you know, a word that jars in some context and so on. It's exactly what you need is for a word to jar, et cetera. So um, I, I'm willing to give them all their conditional value. If I have a voice in my mind, that's what is crucial for me when I'm writing fiction. Um, and if the voice is in my mind, then I can write whenever it's literally physically possible for me to write, whenever I have a, some time to myself. Um, with nonfiction, usually I'm responding to someone asking a question or creating a situation that I want to speak into. Um, and it tends to be deadline driven in a way that my fiction is not. Um, which doesn't mean that I write it any faster than I do fiction, but that, you know, it has a different uh, feeling of, you know, teleology in a way, you know. Um, these, these essays that have come out in the new book are actually as lectures, most of them were given as lectures in, in, in colleges and universities. Well, I came from, from northern Idaho to Brown for undergraduate, and uh, I found out then what I found out many times subsequently, which is that people in the East tend to have no meaningful imagination of the rest of the country, basically, but none at all of a place like northern Idaho, you know, um, which isn't even flown over all that often, you know. <laughs> so first of all, finding that this was true sensitized me to this, to what was particular in my experience. Um, it made me much more interested in, in um, just looking at it as a, a distinctive place um, and, and trying to understand the feeling of it, which seemed almost like a kind of music in it, you know. Um, the, um, w w then I went to graduate school, regular graduate school, and did a thesis on Shakespeare's history plays. And um, just because I wanted to proved that I could keep my hand in, I kept writing extended metaphors, which were based on, you know, northern Idaho. And uh, when I was done, I was done with the dissertation, I basically picked up all these metaphors and realized they cohere and that there was a fictional world being created. And I wrote it. <laughs> Thank you.